20 hours. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? I am. I am. Imaginé que al saludar me iba a contestar Moisés Urbina. Escucharon ustedes eso que yo dije good evening y dijo buenas noches. Se fijaron, se fijaron. Tengo de alumno Moisés Urbina. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope uh, good evening. He said I know that was you that uh, that you were going to say something. Sorry that I. <laughs> So, thank you very much for that punctuality. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, just wait a minute. What is it? Okay, so I appreciate that you're here on time, that you're here um with us. So we can start with wait a minute. So we can start with today's class. I just want to remind you um, that we only have six more classes to go and then we finish, right? So we only have this week and then next Monday, if I believe so. Yeah, next Monday and then that's it. We're finished, right? So um, just it is important for you to be working on the platform, okay? So I would really appreciate if you are working on the platform, even if you finish the platform before the day, that's perfect. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, wait a moment, you guys. I don't know if I have a problem with my internet. I'm going to run a test. Can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. I'm, I'm asking because I, I was looking if I have problems with my internet, but it's okay. Okay, anyways, so right now, I'm gonna start with today's attendance because it's time already and you know, we have to go, we have to go through the attendance first. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. We are the group number 23. Okay, here I go. Let's see, I'm going to turn off the audios. Okay, excellent. That's better. Okay, remember only to turn off your turn on your microphone when you say present or you say I'm here, okay? Eh, gracias a los que ya me comunicaron porque son oyentes. Appreciate it, right? Because you know that it's very important that we know. So Edwin already told me what is his situation. Okay. 
Axel and Let's Go. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Present, Miss. Carlos Amílcar Campos Palencia. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Pertomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Present, Miss. Okay. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Present, Miss. Okay. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Jorge, I mean, Jorge. Present, Miss. Okay. José Ernesto Alemán García. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present, Miss. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present, Miss. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Ok. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Present, Miss. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. Gisela Guadalupe. <coughs> Sorry. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present, Miss. Excellent. Ok. So. Let's go with today's test. I am sorry, you guys, because today I'm a, I'm feeling a little bit. Um, how can I? Oh yeah, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, right? So um, actually, I am not supposed to be working at all because I have a incapacidad, okay, in my other job. But in this job, I will because I'm in my house. I prefer to be working right so i'm a i have like a an infection right so um i appreciate that you for example sometimes the la nada voy a apagar el micrófono y cámara <laughs> it's because yeah I, I like i'm gonna be sneezing okay so let's continue and i would like to start with the platform okay i'm gonna check the platform and i'm gonna tell you um your progress how it appears here in the platform now something important it's if you can finish the pl platform this week it's okay okay it's better if you finished before um we finish the classes but it's not okay if we are about to finish for example on friday and then on monday when we come to the last class you haven't finished that is not okay so I'm gonna tell you the advance. Como me parece el avance de ustedes, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now. If you have questions, let me know. Okay, so Adán Antonio Ramírez goes like, de la tarea 1 a la 3 tiene 100, tarea 4 tiene 80, promedio 95, luego ya tiene realizado el examen intermedio de <coughs> un total de 100, solo le hace falta el examen final. Excelente. Carlos Amilcar ha terminado la plataforma completamente. Congratulations. Then we have Daniel Sifontes, eh, which has, let me see, 196, 160. En la tarea 4 está un poquito bajo, ¿verdad? Es 60. Como un promedio tiene un total de 89. En el midterm tiene 100 y solo le hace falta el examen final. Si pudiéramos mejorar la tarea de la... La tarea 4, la, la nota de la tarea 4, excelente. Okay. Luego tenemos Edgar Edilson, 
tiene 100, 100, 100, tarea 4 no realizada todavía, examen intermedio tiene 100, y le falta entonces tarea 4 y examen final. Edwin Alexis Pérez, solo me ha hecho la primera semana con una nota de 80. Ahí necesitamos avanzar bastante. Esmeralda del Rosario aparece 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Excelente. Todas las tareas lleva 100. En el examen intermedio tiene 85. En el examen final tiene 100. Tiene una nota final de 96. Excelente. Luego tenemos a Gabriela. 100, 100, 100, 100. En la última tarea, la 4 no ha terminado. Solo tiene 20%, lo que está bien porque ahí estamos. Eh, tiene el examen intermedio un 80. No, no, no. Perdón, el promedio es 80 por la tarea que no ha terminado. Y en el examen intermedio tiene 100. Solo le faltaría el examen final y la sección 4, ¿verdad? Germán Alejandro, o oh, no creo que ese es uno de los gestores. No aparece en nota. Solo para que pueda ver sus notas. Eh, Gisela Guadalupe Martínez aparece con un 100, 100, 100. Semana 4, 20. Promedio 80. Eh, de tarea, perdón. 100 en el examen medio. Solo falta examen final y semana 4, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos a Jonathan Stanley. Ya tiene todo con una nota de 95 a prueba. Jorge Ernesto tiene todo a prueba con una nota de 100. A Karen Perenice Castro solo le hace falta el examen final. Eh, Marco Antonio Vanegas, o sea, a los que no les estoy diciendo, tiene tanto, tanto es porque tienen 100 en todo, ¿verdad? <coughs> A Marco Antonio Venegas lo mismo, solo le hace falta el examen final, de ahí tiene 100 en todo. Mario Antonio Reyes, dice aquí, tiene 100, 92, 100. Le hace falta la semana 4, tiene un promedio de 73, porque le hace falta la semana 4. Eh, tiene un 95 en el examen medio y <coughs> falta examen final y semana 4. Mario Tobal solo tiene la primera semana y de ahí le falta todo. Marlon Fabricio, lo mismo, no tiene nada, ni la semana uno, así que necesito ahí que avancemos un poquito porque, yes, ya vamos a finalizar. Let's continue with Marvin. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, then we go with Marvin. Marvin tiene... Um, 100, 100, 100, semana 4, 20. Eh, tiene el examen medio 100 también, solo falta examen final y semana 4. Mauricio. <coughs> Sorry. Mauricio tiene 100, 100, 84, 100, en promedio 96, en el examen medio 100. O oh, no, ya tiene el examen final también, Mauricio Antonio. Y tiene una nota final de 95, ¿ok? De ahí, <coughs> sorry you guys. De ahí tenemos a Miguel Cortés, 100, 100, 100, 100. Solo le falta ex, eh, semana 4 y examen final. Eh, Noé Aníbal aprueba con una nota de 100, excelente. Noé Gabriel aprueba con una nota de 96, también excelente. Salvador Orlando, uh, me debe varias, Salvador. Solo la semana 1 está completa. Semana 2 tiene 52%. 3 y 4 faltan. Examen intermedio también falta. Y examen final, ¿verdad? Vamos a trabajar ahí un poquito. Ok. Tiene que estar terminada para esta semana todo. Yes, para el viernes, sí. preferiblemente. Please. Ok. Ok, thank you. <coughs> y ahí tengo a Sara Raquel, que tiene 95, 100, 88, 92, 94, 100. Y solo le haría falta el examen final, ¿verdad? Y si ella quiere mejorar las notas de las otras secciones, pero están bien. El Sergio Adolfo tiene las tres semanas eh, con 100. La cuarta falta en el examen intermedio 100 y falta el examen final. Eh, creo que mencioné todas las personas. Para que <coughs> recordarles, please, que tienen que estar trabajando in the platform. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> <coughs> Let's 
sorry about that. Okay, so you have to be working on the platform because as you know, it is important as connecting to the classes, like the whole um, class, it is important to be working in the platform as well. Questions so far? <clears throat> no questions? Okay, now. Um, in my case, I just want to say that please, um, you have to be working on the platform. We already are, so today we're about to finish section three and tomorrow we're gonna be starting section four. If you have questions because we are not there yet and you have questions about the answers for the for the other exercises, you can always ask me and you can say, hey, miss, can you please help me with um, the activity number? and I will help you, okay? Now, um, let me see. The last thing we were practicing, if I am not mistaken, was the idioms and the present perfect, right? Just remind me if we did this conversation. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, 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 I think we did this one, right? Then we did this one. Yeah, we did that too. My stomach is killing me. Yeah, the idioms. Remember idioms. We did idioms as well. Uh, the meaning of the idioms. And CSOP. I'm sorry. This pronunciation, I was saying CSOP, but it's CSOP. Okay, CSOP. The pronunciation of this part is CSOP. Now, let me see. Okay, here we are. I think that that's that's... <clears throat> that's what we're supposed to be doing right now okay let's go with this activity here and as you remember i was talking about the phrasal verbs right do you remember what is a phrasal verb <clears throat> do you don't remember what is a phrasal verb what is the mean phrasal verb when Mm -hmm. Oh, an example, the phrase over. Uh, the meaning. Uh, when two words uh, meaning different when... Together. Together, yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Salvador. Yes. When thank you very much. Is when two or three words um, join together to make a different meaning. For example, we were talking about uh, wake up, get up, right? Stand up, sit down, and all of those, okay? Now, for example, get, the verb get, it's really impressive because get has a lot of meanings depending on what um, uh, prepositions go with it, right? So we have different meanings for get, so like get on, get up, get off, um, get along, get with, we have a lot of them. But here we're looking at some important ones and it says, um, can you please help me read in uh, Karen, this part, please? Okay. Some verbs are two parts verbs. They consist on a verb and a part particle or a small word like a preposition. <clears throat> The participle often gives a new meaning to the verb. Excellent, Karen, yes, uh -huh. thank you. So yes, it says, look at here, a new meaning. So that extra part that we are adding to the verb gives a new meaning to the verb. That is the perfect example. Now, can you help me please read this part, Jorge Ernesto? Okay, for example, Take clothes after he takes after his father. He looks like his father or he behaves, behaves like his father. Excellent, good job. So it is an example. Take means one thing by itself. But if we join take plus after, now it has a new meaning. The sentence we have, for example, is he takes after his father. What is the meaning of take after? It means that one person takes one ability or one characteristic 
from another family member. You get it? Yeah, okay. For example, you can say, I don't know, if you are dads here and you have daughters, um, the first daughter, dicen, dicen, ¿verdad? Que la primera hija, si es hembra, toma el carácter del papá. That's what they say, right? So maybe you say, my daughter takes after me her behavior, right? So that is something we can use. Now you have another meaning, right? Another verb, take after, take after, right? Instead of saying, uh, my daughter is like me. No, your daughter is not like you. Your daughter takes after you some of her qualities, okay? Let's read the next example. Can you please help me reading the next example? Uh, Sergio Adolfo, please. Uh, read, read, read. Yes, please. Paul, plus of Mary, called of the meeting, Mary, Mary, cancel the meeting. Excellent. Good job. Can you repeat consult? Consult. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Sergio. So, yes, call off. Call by itself meaning like take the phone and call another person. But call off, okay, it means that it is consult instead of saying, uh, my boss canceled the meeting. You say, my boss call off the meeting. The meeting, I mean, because this is another phrasal verb that is going to help you with that. And actually, people in the United States use a lot of phrasal verbs more than common verbs, right? Because in this case, you can only say canceled. It is not necessary to say something else because it's the same meaning. But people will often use called off, right? It's, I don't know, phrasal verbs are more used, okay? Now it says, match each verb with its preposition and complete its sentences with one of them. Okay, if you wanna look into this, you can look up to the last conversation and you will see what is the last part of the verb. So what you have to do is like match them like this, right? And then you have to put all those phrasal verbs in these uh, sentences uh, so they have a complete meaning, right? For example, we have number one that is here, tying it up. It says, can you pass me that spanner? I need to tie it up this bolt. Like it's similar to the conversation we have here. So what, first activity, match them like this. And then the next activity, place the phrasal verbs with the correct sentences. Karen, tell me. Miss, what is the meaning about tying, tying up? Tying it up? Yes. Okay, um, do you know when some when something is loose? No? Loose? Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. Okay. Because I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <clears throat> For example, this cup, this is a cup, right? This cup is loose. I need to tie it up. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. That. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send you the <clears throat> the screenshot for the activity. What page, please? Sorry. Uh this is on page thirty six. Thirty six, thank mm -hmm. you. Send you. Okay, there you have it. So we're going to complete that activity. Is is the activity clear for you guys? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Karen dicen que nos estamos enfermando por el clima. That's what they say. The change of weather. Hay que un montón de oyentes. That's a problem. I always have a lot of listeners. Pero bueno, por lo menos se conecten y que estén pendientes de la clase. That is something. 
Ok. Tengo que elegir bien, sabiamente. Para que no todos vayan al mismo break room. Ok, there you go. Ok, Marco, lo voy a enviar a la sala 2, pero no se vaya a unir ahí, ¿ok? No se vaya a unir porque esa no es su sala. Lo voy a enviar a la 3, cuando le caiga el de la 3 se acepta.
Hello, Jose Ernesto. Welcome to the class. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Welcome. So your classmates are working on this activity. I'm going to send you to a room so you can work with them, okay? Okay. Okay, let's continue here with this activity. I'm gonna tell you the number of a sentence and you are going to tell me the sentence with the correct, oh, I'm sorry, first we're gonna go. <laughs> sorry, first we have to do this. Okay, so it's tying it up and switch. Switch off. Switch off. 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 I'm sorry, okay, Um, wait a minute because I have the, quiet a minute. Okay, here, switch off. Clean. Okay. Up. Up. Clean up. Okay. 
Seas. Up. 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 Turn. Off. 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 Call. Up. 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 Okay. And now here, let's do the next part. I'm going to tell you the number of the sentence, and you're going to tell me the sentence with the um, phrasal verb, okay? Let's start. Please help me with number one, Esmeralda. Okay. Uh, can you pass me that spanner? I need to, I don't remember how pronounce. Oh, no, no, it's number two. I'm sorry, I was like, what? Yeah, ah, one is ah. already, number two. Okay. This workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Excellent. Excellent. Clean up this place. Let's go now with Marco Antonio, number three, please. Okay. Remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. Okay, to switch off. Todos lo tienen así? Switch off? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Next participation. <clears throat> um, Mario Antonio, number four, please. I have the computer. The computer won't. In... Sorry. I have the computer want to turn off again. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Gavi. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number five. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will size up. Seize up. Seize up. Okay, thank you, Miss. Thank you, Gabby. Next, uh, let's go with. Uh, uh, uh. Isela, can you participate? Yes. Okay. Eh, sería la, la six. cuatro. No, la six. Six. Okay. The printer just stopped. Working, we need to, to we need to call call up a technician. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. To call up a technician. Yes, if you did it like that, then you did it correct. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much to the ones that participated in this activity. <clears throat> Let's continue with the next one. Okay. We have a reading here, okay? Yeah, we have a reading. I'm going to read this for you. Remember, you can ask me for meanings or pronunciations when I finished, and then I'm going to send you the pronunciation. Let's see. Step one. Uh, oh, okay, so this is tips on how to organize a preventive, preventive maintenance plan, okay? Number one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and kept up to date so you can get important feedbacks as you go. Step two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Be begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Step three, 
inventory, the equipment, and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organized with the assistance of good preventing maintenance software program. Do you need me to repeat a specific pronunciation or tell you the meaning of a word? What means, what does meaning kept up? What is the meaning of kept up? It is to be informed to the very last um, information. Okay. Kept up. In this case, yes. Another question? Assets. assets, okay, the assets are the important valuable things that a company has. Um, inventory. What is it? Inven inventory. Inventory is inventory, yeah. Activo, no, assets. Yeah, assets, it's activos, yes. Another question? Pronunciation uh, about management. Management? Management. This one? Yes, yes. yes. Management. Okay, thank you. Assistant. What is assistant. it? Assistant or assistant? Assistant? Assistant. Yes, assistant. Yeah. O aquí en este caso es asistencia, assistance. Ajá, eso, asistencia. Assistance, yeah, assistance. Okay. I want to read it one more time. So if you uh, find more words, you can tell me when I finish reading, okay? <clears throat> Get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on and kept to date so you can get important feedback as you go. <clears throat> Step two, set goals of your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tag in the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organized with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Questions? If not, I'm gonna send you the pronunciations. Thank you. What is it? Tanging or tanging. Tagging. This one? Tagging. Mm, Esta? Yeah. Tagging. Yes. Tagging. Tagging. What does that mean? 
tagging is when you put a stickers uh, or label one material with a code. Tag. Tagging. Mm -hmm. Sticky paper. No. Sticky, sticky yes, uh, etiqueta. Yeah, correct. That's what it is. Craftman. 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 You want the meaning or the pronunciation? Both. Craftmen. Okay, craftmen are usually the men who work with the hands. Okay, and for example, in, in El Salvador, we have a lot of craftmen. And you can understand that as artesanos. Okay, let's go. I'm going to send you the audios. <clears throat> Step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and kept up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Step two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force input, Set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organized with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Okay. So we just go to practice um, the reading, okay? This is a reading activity that we're gonna practice right now. Let me send you the reading. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Yes? Do you get it? Okay. Perfect. Yes, ma'am. Remember, this is a reading practice. Let's go.
staff who understand the way your system oper operates. This call include, include people from data processing, processing accounting, graph, craftsmen, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not, not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, process but, but it's important to have them on board and kept, kept up to date so you can get important Step two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan using your task force input. Set goal, you hope to achieve using system begin training your task force or the computer skill they need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Okay, thank you. Step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. <clears throat> and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Okay. Sí. Uh, understand the way your system operates. This could include uh, people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production controls. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board a kept up uh, today so you can get important feedback uh, as you go. Step two, set goals your preventing maintenance place. plan. Using your task force input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force or the computer skills they need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment
Okay, so now let's do the reading. Uh, I'm gonna choose the participants. Okay, yes. Okay, so uh, no vamos a leerlo así por puntos porque está muy. Vamos a leer de aquí hasta acá. From here to here. And here to here. Okay. Eh, veo ahí que tienen una mano up. No de Pérez. Tell me. Yeah, I want to participate now. Oh, okay. Excellent. So, Noé Pérez va a ser el primero. Después tenemos a El Salvador. And then number three is going to be Karen. Okay? You start, Noé. Okay. Step one, get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technician, and any other staff who understand the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, traffic, and members of production and production control. Excellent. Good job, Salvador. Your turn. Okay. You may not need input from each of 10 people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them about, to have them aboard and get up to date so you get input feedback as you go. Step two, set goals for you preventive maintenance plan. Using your, using your task force input, Set goals you have to uh, uh, achieve. achieve using the system. Begin training your task for of the computer skill they need when you provide maintenance plans goals into full effect. Excellent. Let's go with Karen. Okay, I try. Well, step three, inventory the equipment and asset. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintain maintenance plan, tagging the equipment as you go. <clears throat> Create a list of, of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's do a few corrections. Um, these important, important uh, preventive Can listen you.
Me pueden escuchar, gente. Yep. ¿No me podían escuchar antes? No, no, antes no. Oh, ok, sorry. A ver, Jorge is the first one. Number two is Jonathan. And number three is Esmeralda. Jorge, you start. Step one. Get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plans, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include those manners management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting craftsmen, a member of production and production control. Okay, let's go now with Jonathan. Okay. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and kept up today so you can so you can get important feedback as you go. Step two, set goal for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system begin training your task force or the computer skill they need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into fuel effect. Okay, thank you, Esmeralda. Step three, inventory the equipment and access. Go throughout your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Taggy, taggy the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record, record the following details as you go and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry, to carry out and organize it with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. Excellent, good job. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you to the three people that participated. Let's just do you feedback. Organize, maintenance, or maintenance, uh, production, achieve, full, full effect, equipment, assets, through, the equipment, create, details, organized, easier okay now listen to this we're gonna go to the breaker rooms with the same reading but this activity is going to be different what i want you to do is to identify the phrasal verbs in this reading okay you need to identify all the phrasal verbs in this reading and then you have you have to look for the meaning okay so let's see before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan you need to have the right people on board Mm, the management. Um, okay, you know, well, okay, let's see. Okay, kept top. I think we'll phrase over. Entonces voy a ir a buscarlo en internet. And I'm going to say, what is the meaning of kept top? But in this case, the correct one is keep up, okay? So what is the meaning? Aquí en internet dice, the meaning of keep up is move or progress at the same 
afraid as someone or something else. Okay. So what is the meaning of kept up? That is the meaning of kept up. So I'm looking the meaning and uh, I'm looking for the phrasal verbs and I'm looking for the meaning of the phrasal verbs. ¿Se entiende la actividad? Do you understand the activity? Yes? Okay, you're gonna look for all the phrasal verbs, you underline the phrasal verbs, and then you look for the meanings. Yeah? Perfect. Okay, got it.
If you have another idea, just tell us. Is everyone helping Karen? Yes, of course. Yes. We are gentlemen. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Give us the ideas. Okay. <coughs> Karen, you're very sick. You have the flu? Yes, I have. I feel really, really bad. Really? And did you go to the doctor? No. No, why? Not yet. Because today, uh, uh, ahora me comenzó. <laughs> oh, it today started. Yes. Mm, okay. So you should go to the doctor. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Miguel, what breaker room were you in? Yeah, teaching. Can you send me? One, yeah, two, or three. Mm, three with George and Aníbal and Gabby. George, Aníbal, and Gabby. So number one. I don't know. <laughs>
Ok, así va. Va. Ok, listen to me. Cuando terminen esta actividad, quiero que vean un video que les he mandado aquí, ¿ok? Ahí les okay. dejo el link. Solo le dan compartir sonido. Ya les voy a mandar una imagen a WhatsApp de cómo se ve cuando comparten sonido, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. <coughs> ¿Ya terminaron? ¿You finished? Creemos que sí. Dice. Ok. Ok, listen to me. Um, ahí en las salas ya llegué y les dejé un link de un video en el chat de Zoom. La persona que está compartiendo pantalla lo puede compartir y le va a dar compartir audio también. Ya les voy a enseñar una imagen de WhatsApp, cómo se ve dónde van a compartir audio, ¿ok? Este, ven el video y después volvemos aquí. Sorry, Miss, but connection. Yeah. Okay. Um, what breaker room were you in? With Miss Castro.
we all want to go Mimi, right? I know. Did you watch the video? Si pudieron ver el video? Did you watch the video? No, no, no. If you can, no complete, but I see. Yeah. No complete. You can say the link, okay? And you can watch it by yourselves, okay? So you can watch it later or another. I got it. Okay. Let's go with today's attendance because it's the last and I know we all want to go Mimi. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Present. Carlos Amilker Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Milet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Eh, Jonathan Stanley Pérez López. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. Present. Karen Bernice Castro Velar. Present. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. María Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present, Miss. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Present. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Sar Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. And Gisela Guadalupe Martinez Cruz. Present, Miss. Okay, that will be it for tonight, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye. Take care. Yeah, Have a good night. Night. Bye. Have a good Bye. night. Have a good night. Have a good night. You too, guys.